Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to do a video on acetone, ISO. And the reason, the reason that you'd use this is if you wanted to make a archive of a PlayStation 1 or 2 disc that you own to transfer onto uh, for use on an emulator, in the case of PlayStation 1 and the example today, a PlayStation 1 game, in this case Final Fantasy 4, uh, for use with the PlayStation emulator. So acetone has been around for a long while. I can easily do a video on my own for that, but let's just get to this. So you go, uh, you open acetone, you go to generate CD, ISO from CD, DVD, go to PlayStation 1 game, click OK. I recommend, a, there's an additional one here, and SR0. Uh, so you want to make sure you know what your optical drive is uh, linked up to in dev, uh, because not always will it be linked up to CD-ROM, CD-ROM 0. Dev SRO just is the default for more modern things. So I'll just do this. And it is final fantasy IV TSX dot ISO. Actually, it's a dot Q bin, but okay. So now it's going to start ripping it. I shouldn't have done the dot ISO, but it's a habit. Bad habit. Sweet. Okay, it is done. So, let's check it out. There it is. There's the TOC. Cool. Let's check to see if it runs. Nope. It looks like it's running. That looks like an airship. PlayStation games. Okay, well, cool. That worked. So that was a quick and easy little tutorial on how to use acetone 
to rip your PlayStation games to run on a PlayStation emulator. This is the recommended method. This is the way that you're supposed to properly do it. You're supposed to own the game, but if you, it's best on the emulators to have a digital copy of it and run it from the digital copy. It will spare your optical drive, it will increase loading time, and in the case of the Raspberry Pi, you can just have it on the SD card. So with that, I thank you so very much for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to, to donate. Uh, any amount that you can donate can help make my videos far, far better and will incentivize me to do more tutorial videos like this. And until next time, bye-bye.